Alright, hey guys, this is Justo2, and I'm finally back after several months. Anyway, as you can see, my next proc- nah. My next walkthrough is going to be Super Mario World. And yes, I know I already did a Super Mario World walkthrough once. However, my original walkthrough was on the Game Boy Advance version. And so, I've decided to do the Super Nintendo version. And unlike my original walkthrough, I won't be going through the Star World. Wow, great start, right? Anyway, I won't be going through the Star World. So, yeah, I'll stick to the main path this time. And yes, I do plan on going for all of the um, light switch palaces. Or switch palaces, not light switch palaces. Get it right. Okay. And let me see. What else? Um. Oh my, don't really have a lot to say. So. May as well not really try to say much. Try to think. Whoa, crap, that was close. And yes, um, if you don't know, the commentary for this walk is live. Which means I'm recording both gameplay and commentary at the same time. The camera's not want to stay, right? I know I've had better recording equipment in the past, but right now this is the best I got. Oh well. It works. Anyway, here's the first Switch Palace, if you don't know. Which you probably do know. And dang it, that's ten coins off. <sighs> do, 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 Sorry. That board. Now, the point of the Switch Palace is, is to turn all the blank blocks into blocks that you can hit. I'll show you what a blank block is later when I get the chance. Or when I see one. But each Switch Palace makes its own ex explanation. Ex Exclaiming, I can't say it. It's all block, like this. And the, the yellow ones always contain mushrooms, the green ones always contain feathers, the red and blue ones don't have anything. Which I think the red ones should have had fire flowers. That's for the blue ones, I don't really know what they could have had, or would have had. Oh, another thing. Um, this game has, like, Yoshi coins, or they're actually called Dragon Coins, which I don't know why they're called that. They should be called Yoshi Coins. Anyway, there are several Yoshi Coins throughout the game, and no, I won't be going through them all. I won't be going through them all. I mean, you know what I mean. But I will grab the ones that I know how to get, and if they're, like, right next to me, then, yeah, I will get them. But, I'm not going to go for all of them. Don't ask me why. I'm just not going to. They're too much trouble to get. And the only thing you even get for getting them all is Yoshi's face being replaced by Princess Peaches. I mean, that's kind of dumb. At least, in my opinion, it's dumb. But, whatever. 
All right, Yoshi's Island three. Dang it. Oh crap, that was... I can't believe I just did that. I seriously can't believe I just did that. That was total fail. Oh, something else I need to mention. See that blue square up in the top center of the screen? The square that I made my mushroom come out? Or, now it's holding a mushroom. That's, um... That's an item storage box. What? Obviously, it's for storing, like, extra items. Like, it can hold... Whoa, dang it, Yoshi. Come here. No, never mind. Um... What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. It's used for holding an extra item. In case you, like, get hit or get killed. Like... Perfect example is when I restarted this level after performing that epic fail. I was able to hit the button to make the mushroom fall out. And it can only hold one item. Like, for example, dang it. If, um, there's a mushroom up there and you get a. Wow, what the heck? I can't play and talk at the same time. But if there's a mushroom up there and you get a fire flower, it's replaced by the... The mushrooms are replaced by the fire flower. Which, in my opinion, that would actually be a benefit. Anywho. I gotta stop trying to play and talk at the same time. I'm gonna end up screwing myself. Jeez. And that's the end of the level. <coughs> oh, and, um, to those of you who are watching this video, with it being around Halloween time, Happy Halloween. And if you don't celebrate Hall Halloween, join the club. I don't celebrate it either. Woohoo. Right? Wow, that was fail. If you don't, just in case you're probably wondering why I don't celebrate Halloween, I think, in my opinion, Halloween's nothing but a bunch of demonic foolishness. Like, dang it, that was a total fail. Seriously, though, Halloween is built on demonic crap. And yes, I know people see it as nothing more than, like, clean fun and celebration of junk, but. People don't even think about what the heck they're celebrating with. And I'm not necessarily saying that all of it's bad, but pretty much all of it is bad. Just saying. But I'm not I'm not judging anybody, don't get me wrong. I just I just don't think Halloween's a good day to celebrate. I have multiple reasons for that. And, well, that's the end. Oh, something else I need to mention. That I didn't mention at all. As you can see, we are in the middle of a bonus game. Wow. Fail. And I got nothing. But the way to get the bonus game is to get 100 bonus stars. And you collect the bonus stars by hitting the tape that's on the um, goalpost at the end of every level. The higher the tape, the more bonus stars you get. Gross. Should have figured that out by now. But, yeah.
Oh, that mini, that miniature goalpost there that I just hit. You should have seen me hit that a couple times already. What that is is a checkpoint. You hit the checkpoint, and then if you die, you start from that checkpoint. Oh, and if you're small Mario, it automatically turns you into big Mario, which is pretty cool. Okay, here's Iggy. Mm -hmm. The the way it, the easiest way to beat Iggy is to hit him whenever the platform is leaning down on his end. Dang it. Like, see how he's on the end that's about to fall? Wow, that was lucky. Anyway. Wait for the platform to lean down toward where he's at and then hit him. That's all there is to it. Simple stuff, right? No? Okay. Oh, and after every time you beat a castle, Mario, um, he definitely knows how to blow it up in quite the humorous way. He just freaking bombs it. The first one, anyway. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut it off here, and in the next part, we will go through the donut planes. So, until next part, see you later.